All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and such, and we're kind of winging this one. Um, I got less than 10% battery, so we're going to just see how, how, how this goes. Um, so I've been getting some questions about why I bought this. It's a fire alarm terminal cabinet. So this is going to be another edition of what the heck is it? Um, this, I bought this because I have a lot of devices hooked up on my simplex panel. And when I have to work on stuff, you know, I have to remove power to the device. And normally for something like that, you just power down the panel. But every time you power down a simplex panel, it loses its date and time and whatnot. And I'm not really about that life of setting it every time. So um, I wanted a way to be able to cut power to a device without having to cut power to the panel and without having to go in through a whole mess of wires. Now, before I did have those terminals on the wall and that worked, it was just like messy and not really kept up. So I said, you know what? I want a terminal cabinet and I bought one. So, uh, well, here it is. Uh, this mine is by space age. There's ones by simplex space age, whole bunch of other companies. They all take a cat 30 key. You can get them in different sizes. This is a 32 contact point cabinet. Um, you open it up if you need to do like service or stuff on it. The whole door, if I'm actually holding the box, whole door slides off and stuff. But I'm not about that life today. Um, but here it is. The way this basically works, at least the way I have it wired up. This will not work for a conventional panel because the way I have this wired up, I am using T-tapping and that's just, you, you can't do that on a conventional panel. It just doesn't work like that. Um, and it's so against code, but T-tapping is allowed on an addressable system. Now the way I have it for my NAX, I'm also T-tapping. That's not totally allowed. Um, so because then supervision and whatnot doesn't work. But we're just, it, it, I, we, we don't care about supervision here. It's okay. The way I have it worked my ID net channel is that this whole side is my ID net channel. And there is one cable that comes in from the panel labeled ID net. And then there's red and black jumpers that go all the way down to the bottom. So that way there is a positive and a negative for each zone. I shouldn't call it zone. Each point on the panel. So... Every point has its own set of wires, so no two points are tied into each other. So if I need to disable a pull station, I come in here with a screwdriver and I undo the spade terminal and then that pull station doesn't have power, that module doesn't have power, and then we're all good. Then I can work without having to completely shut down and disable the entire panel. Same goes for my NAC. I have like... Let's see, NAC4 is my big one. NAC4 comes in and then positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, all the way down um, until it gets down to NAC3 and then that's its own separate thing. But it's just here to make it easier to move cables and stuff around. Like my two NACs up there, you know, you got the one over the panel and then the one over the doors. If, say, I'm running like a true alert here and then just a regular horn there, they have to be on separate NACs. So there's a blank spot here where I can take the two spades and move them down to NAC 2 and then each box can be on its own NAC. Um, yeah, that's honestly pretty much it. <laughs> There's not really a whole much else. It's literally just a $30 box with some terminal strips in it. And then you do the rest. The way I have it wired up is not up to code whatsoever. But it works for my uh, for my application purposes. Remember, this is just a demonstration education system. This is not actually providing the sole fire protection for my house or building or whatever. So it's fine. It's a demo system. Um, yeah. And then, you know, once you're done, you close it up, you lock it, I get my terminal uh, keys out, and yeah, plug.
plus, you know, it looks nice. So, I mean, why not? You know, it's my money. <laughs> I wanted to buy a box and then fill it with crap. So, yeah. Um, I've hit a new level of <laughs> tiredness, so that's why this video is the way it is. Um, yeah. <laughs>